Good evening, everyone. I'm Alicia Malone. This is TCM, and our star of the month is Sidney Poitier. He is the trailblazing Oscar winner who pushed boundaries in Hollywood to redefine roles for black actors, often starring in films that tackled racism in America. And he did that right from the very beginning of his career, as you'll see in our first movie tonight from 1950, directed by Joseph Mankiewicz, It's No Way Out. Poitier stars as a doctor working in a county hospital who is assigned to look after two criminals in the prison ward, one of whom is extremely racist. When he was cast, Poitier was just 22 years old and this was his first credited film role. Prior to this, he'd acted on the stage and actually had a job in a Broadway production at the time he auditioned for No Way Out. Poitier went to an open casting call, not expecting to get the role, but to his surprise, he won the part. So he got out of his commitment to the play and made his way to Hollywood. On set, Poitier was nervous. This was a big role for a new film actor, but he said that working with his experienced co-stars like Richard Widmark, Linda Darnell, Ossie Davis, and Ruby Dee urged, encouraged, or inspired me to stretch toward goals outside my previous reach. He worked hard and impressed Joseph Mankiewicz so much that straight after production, Mankiewicz set up a meeting between Poitier and director Zoltan Korda, which led to his second film role. From 1950, this is No Way Out. When Sidney Poitier's parents saw No Way Out, it was the first movie they had ever watched. As Poitier remembered, though they didn't know much about movies, they soon let go of thinking, that's my son, and got into the story, except right at the end during that big confrontation with Richard Widmark's character. Poitier said that at that point his mother stood up and started yelling, hit him back, Sydney, hit him back, you never did nothing to him, much to his brother's and sister's embarrassment. And the first movie that Sidney Poitier ever saw also had a big impact on him, a cowboy film when he was 12. That was what gave him the dream of working in Hollywood, though at the time he thought Hollywood was where they raised cows. With No Way Out, Poitier felt he had, quote, touched the glitter and it began a remarkable career in movies. And we're continuing our celebration of Sidney Poitier next on TCM with a drama where he stars as a troublemaking student who meets his match in a determined teacher played by Glenn Ford.